Yo, Parish Orphans and Retrogrades, happy Tuesday. It is May the 14th, the day after Fatima Day. I thought I would do a little Fatima show yesterday, and I thought wrong. But, man, we've had 100 plus years since Our Lady appeared at Fatima, Portugal, to three seers. And it's been more than 100 years because it was 2017 that represented the 100-year mark. That means it's 107 years, at which point we were told, we faithful Roman Catholics who are doing our best, that there would be one final attack, one final attack on the world by Satan, and that this final attack would take the form of the devil against the family. And short-sighted nitwits and midwits assumed that this final attack meant ontological gender dysphoria. You know, you know what that is. The stuff that began in 2014, 2015, Bruce Jenner. That's not the final attack. The final attack on the world in God's timeline, whereupon moments are more like decades, attacks take place more over the course of a century or a century and a half. This final attack is, was ongoing in 1917. It is the attack on the family that is functional gender dysphoria, making, and vice versa, mothers and wives to act like husbands and fathers. Now, yesterday, in accord with the, and of course, Steph is here to help Hello, me break this down. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lady. Hello, people. So, yesterday, what went public and went gigaviral almost immediately thereafter was friend of the show, Mr. Harrison Butker, arguably the greatest place kicker in the history of the National Football League. He's a three-time Super Bowl champion with the Kansas City Chiefs. He's also a trad Catholic. I've been friends with him behind the scenes for five years. And he gave this commencement speech at Benedictine College that we're going to play for you in a second, where he said, he insinuated a lot, and he said quite a bit, but he said that basically the girls who are graduating had been told this Luciferian lie that Sister Lucy referred to after Fatima 107 years ago. They'd been told the most gargantuan lie, the girls. Of course, the devil's telling the, the men in society lies too, but the lie is that having a career is their vocation for the women. Now, having a career isn't actually the vocation for a man. The vocation for a married man is his wife and kids. But this takes the place this requires, at the bottom level of exigency, at least having a career. For women, it does not. And so Harrison said, I'll play for you what he said. Basically, you're going to want to stay home. And Steph, all the world, Washington Post just published a new article on it about 15 minutes ago. They're all Poor taking Harrison. a crack at him on the NFL Reddit. They <laughs> are calling for blood, violence against Harrison. I spoke with him this morning. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about that, but he's just a good man with a lot of integrity. Harrison was surprised that at this middle, early middle stage in his career, he's talked a lot about being a faithful Roman Catholic, a trad Catholic. And this goes along with it, but he got basically no pushback on that. He's a very good man in real life. Got basically no pushback on that, and now all the pushback that he's felt was coming for seven years or so is all coming at once because he just said, like, his wife, Isabel, who's a, a lovely, good lady, um, supports him and supports him from home. Can you explain what's going on here? Well, he said what you're not allowed to say. Of course, in Catholic circles, and trad Catholic circles, everyone, you know, we're all pro-life. So every time he rightfully comes out and says something pro-life, everybody's like, oh, that's great. But he said we're not allowed to say. And that is that women are only happy when they are doing what God designed them to do, which is to be, if you're married, at home taking care of your husband and your children. And so 
I wish we could have talked to him beforehand so we could have told him what sort of backlash he would receive. He did seem a little bit surprised. I felt I felt bad for him because, you know, from his perspective, he's probably like, this is just true. Why is everybody getting so mad at me? But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's the kind of surprise where when it registers with him the way it's been registering when he woke up this morning and saw that Fox News, all these foot, I'm going to read from you, Football Wire, Washington Post, New York Post have all come out against him just for giving this little commencement speech at a trad Catholic school, Benedictine, Mm -hmm. just preaching to largely the choir, though it's not as much of the choirs that should be in Catholic circles because Catholic circles have been infiltrated by feminism. It's not the kind of surprise that Harrison registered because he's so high integrity, like, oh, I would have done otherwise if I'd have known the pushback. That's not, that's not who Harrison Bucker is. He's, this guy's got pluck and he's got integrity. So that's not w- what we mean. It's just he was legitimately, he awoke and found himself riddled by extra, extra Catholic commentary and even some anti butker catholic commentary out there saying this man this what is this guy from the middle ages what does he chain <laughs> his wife to a radiator all the stupid tropes that Sorry. illiterate morons out there say mainly illiterate women mainly <laughs> illiterate and um, i don't know can you can you just before i'm going to play the clip i'm going to get right into it can you just say a brief word on why we're not surprised, Steph, that like, yeah, you can talk about the Latin mass all you want. But the second you say that male behaviors and female behaviors should not really be fungible, you're pissing off even trad Catholics. We, we've we've mm-hmm. gone to right. bat with even trad Catholics. And we say, look, men should do men things. Women should do women things. The woman's forum is the home. Well, conservatives don't actually believe men and women are different. Right. right. They always right. have the caveat. Well, they're different insofar as our biology. They'll go those they'll go that far, but when it comes to our specific roles and what we're designed to do, now that's when most conservatives and trads will say, "No, no, no, no. We can even some trads, if you will, on where they're going to actually toe the line on what a woman actually is and what she's designed to be." They will say you know, she can do just some things that man, that a man can do. Now, where that line is uh, in regards to the left or the right, it's far left over or it's far right. A woman can work. A woman can, you know, build a barn. A woman <laughs> wear the pants in the family. Yeah, and, and vice versa. And, mm-hmm. well, men should be helping their wives, you know, do the dishes, change diapers. Remember Diapergate? Of, oh. I think May of 2023 started by our, our new friend, Megha. I retweeted her and I support it. She was like, look, my husband, you're never going to catch my husband doing a diaper. It's they so said, easy. These jobs are so easy. These women are freaking out over the diapers. It's like an ape can do these jobs, can change a diaper and to clean a house at the same time. I don't need you to do any of that stuff for me unless I am incapacitated because I had just given birth or was hit by a bus right. or something of that nature. Right. It's just not that hard, which is why, by the way, I have a lot of free time. <laughs> right, so right. ridiculous. Well, even trads were mad that I supported Megha on Twitter during Diapergate over a year ago. <laughs> and I think it was Eric Sammons was like, look, there's not a categorical behavioral difference between men and women. I was like, wow, that that's dysphoria. There is a categorical uh, behavioral di- set of uh, disparities between men and women. It, the capacity to, for a man to do the dishes or do the diapers, the fact that I have the capacity to do that does not prove that this is a natural virtue for a man to actually mm-hmm. engage in them any more than the capacity for me to throw on that, that beautiful white dress that looks so good on you, which would, <laughs> maybe I start thinking it would look good on me. I'd be wrong. But that's a behavior. <laughs> And so trads like trads and conservatives are so crossed up on what constitutes gender dysphoria. Is it ontologically thinking a man can be a woman or vice versa? No, they'll say, you know, some behaviors should never be engaged in. Like a man should never wear a dress. That's a behavior. And they're like, okay, yeah, so there are male and female behaviors. And we we ought to be hermetically sealed as between categories. They go, no, no, no. And you know why? Because they're speaking 
autobiographically and it makes them insecure. Mm. And um, th- th- here's the interesting part. Her- let- let's play Harrison. Let's. But he wasn't, even, he wasn't even going on the attack. He was saying, here's what I've done in my life. He attacked Biden. He attacked abortion. He attacked um, uh, Skittles Pride Month, which is dope, dope, dope. But, but conservatives won't get mad at any of that. But then he started saying, I'm so, and he was getting legitimately touched, broken up. Here's how me and my wife have done it. I've been given some talents by God. I'm a three-time Super Bowl champion. I couldn't have done squat without my wife being my helpmeet. I'm paraphrasing. That's, that's what I tell people about me and you. Her projects are all just helping my projects. And I can't do it with her. We're one flesh. And I just, I'm so blessed to have that woman. That's not what I tell people about you. And I know Harrison's sincere because it's got the ring of truth. And that's what upsets the, um, the, the left, by the way. Right. Is the sincerity of anyone, especially women, but I'm glad Harrison said this, but any women like myself that come out and say, no, you don't understand. I am joyful and proud of this lifestyle and I wouldn't trade it in for anything. That's what upsets them. The message, of course, is upsetting to hear that women should be at home taking care of their kids. But what's also upsetting them is the joy and the appreciation that you hear in Harrison's voice for his wife, for her doing the truly feminine 